Where is Adriana Barnes? Where did she go? There's no way she just walked away with nothing. Her mother, Akua Avegnon, reported the 19-year-old woman missing last July to Warrensville Heights Police. I want my I want my child. Adriana Barnes vanished eight months ago. Now her loved ones want answers. What led to her death? Who are you for? Adriana! No justice! No, no peace. peace! Justice for who? Adriana! Eighteen-year-old Adriana Barnes was reported missing in late July of 2021 to Warrensville Heights Police. She had dreams of joining the Army and met with recruiters from the Cleveland Armed Recruiters Office the last day she was seen. Recruiters picked her up from her boyfriend's home on Warner Road in Cleveland and dropped her off at the same location following the meeting. It was unclear to recruiters if Adriana went back into the apartment or if she walked away. That was the last time she was seen by anyone. According to her mother, she made plans to spend time with her entire family. Relatives informed her that Adriana left her shoes and clothing at home and had no money, making her disappearance even stranger. A text that sounded nothing like Adriana was also sent to her mother's boyfriend's phone asking that she be picked up from a gas station. Subsequently, her social media accounts would be deactivated and her phone would be turned off. No one would hear from or see Adriana again. It would later be discovered that the gas station she requested to be picked up from did not exist. On Thursday, March 17th, a housekeeper cleaning the balcony of an apartment in the 4300 block of Warner Road in Cleveland's Broadway Slavic neighborhood would make a horrific discovery under what they thought was just a simple pile of clothes. A missing woman was found dead on an apartment balcony in the same area where she was last seen. Adriana Barnes vanished eight months ago. For months, detectives said there were no new leads in this case until a shocking discovery this week at this apartment building. Warner Road in Slavic Village, the same street where Adriana was found dead on Thursday. Police say a cleaning person found the woman's body on the balcony wrapped in a blanket. Cleveland police are now handling the investigation, but Detective Gregory Curry from Warrensville Heights worked on Adriana's case at the start. He told 19 News then he was not ruling out foul play, leaving many wondering what happened to Adriana Barnes. Has her body always been here or was it recently moved? The Cuyahoga Medical Examiner's Office determined that Adriana had been shot in the head. Investigators also located bullet casings near her body and a bullet hole in a wall inside the apartment. It remains unclear just how long Adriana's body was on the balcony, but police say it appeared it had been purposely left outside to speed up decomposition. The most recent tenant, Adriana's boyfriend, 39-year-old Benny Washington, was evicted on March 11th. Many questions have surrounded the case since the very beginning. In October of 2021, Warrensville Heights detective Gregory Curry told 19 News he had not ruled out foul play in her disappearance. Her family and volunteers led a search party in November of 2021 in the same neighborhood where she was last seen and ultimately found deceased. During the initial phase of the investigation, Police attempted to speak with her boyfriend. However, he refused to cooperate. Instead, police were met with obscenities and outbursts stating how much he hated the police. He eventually asked for an attorney and ceased all communication. An arrest has been made after a missing woman's body was found. A cleaning person found 19-year-old Adriana Barnes under a pile of clothes on the balcony of an apartment on Warner Road. Adriana's boyfriend, 39-year-old Benny Washington, was arrested for her murder just two days after the discovery of her body. Police received reports about Washington's erratic behavior in public in the weeks leading up to his arrest. The day after Adriana's body was located, 
he allegedly ran into someone's home after being spotted by police and jumped out of a window. According to the Cuyahoga court records, Washington has several past criminal convictions, including felony assaults, gun possession as a felon, vandalism, drug possession, and a list of others. In June, he was charged with arson, assault, and aggravated menacing in a separate case. In 2019, he was charged with allegedly sexually assaulting a three-year-old girl at a West Side home. The child's grandmother alerted authorities after the girl informed her of what had happened. He was also convicted of shooting a woman in the back in 2010 over a $40 cocaine debt for which he was sentenced to seven years in prison. Friends, family, and activists held a rally at the Warrensville Heights Police Department to remember 18-year-old Adriana Barnes and to spread awareness of her story. Now her mother is demanding accountability from the Warrensville Heights Police Department. According to her, police didn't do enough to find her daughter, quickly categorizing her as a runaway, as we have heard on so many cases involving young African-American women. What now? What you have to say now? And how long she was there? How? Even reaching out to the media and everybody go, no, the, the detective got to tell us. Well, what did you hear for if I got a police report that say she missed it? Wasn't nobody out there with me but her and them? Nobody. Me. Nobody. Where was y'all at? When I asked for help. How many things I called and told Curry that was enough for him to even go look and he didn't even entertain it. He was stuck on, oh, she walked away and she would never just walk away from me or her siblings, never. No, we don't have her. I don't, I won't get a phone call or a text every day no more. That's over. The community was furious and even went as far as taking the rally inside of the Warrensville Police Department lobby. They wanted answers some sort of understanding as to how and why police dragged their feet on Adriana's disappearance. Most importantly, they wanted answers for her mother, who had to wait eight long, grueling months to find her daughter at the very location she initially told police she was last seen. Family members and community activists rallied here at Warrensville Heights Police Headquarters. Now, things got tense as they took things from outside to inside a vigil turned protest. Who we here for? Adriana! Who we here for? Adriana! They just scared him off the scene. He said he want the lobby cleaned out. Yeah. Come on. He said he wants the lobby cleaned out. Okay. Uh, he said he wants the lobby cleaned out. Okay, we're cleaning out in a minute. We ain't cleaning it out right now. Right out in the door. No, we ain't cleaning it out right now. We're cleaning out in a minute. We, you want to take a few out of the jail. I'll be first. I'll be first. You say what you have to say. Okay, all right. Get your word out. Okay, all right. All your amendment rights. And then once you're done, yeah. Let's get this part clear. Okay, now. all right, we okay. will. Okay, so I, I all right. You. I know, I know, I know. So, I got you. No, no one's kicking you out. All right, okay. Have people to come yeah. in and get reports and everything. I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay, all Thank right. You. And remember, you're dealing with a bunch of mad black women. And bad women. That's all I want to say. Not me. Not me. Yeah, uh, so, okay, I got you. Okay, you. Give me a minute. Give Absolutely. Me a minute. All right. Hey, hey, he's gonna, he's gonna I got you. What he has I got to say. Can y'all please take out? We, I, under, I understand your concerns. We're going to go out in a minute. Uh, la ladies. Mr. McCoy, la I need for everybody to please go la out. La la ladies, 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 ladies. Mr. Ladies. McCoy, can you please step I, I, outside? I am going outside. I am going outside. Okay, I understand ladies. that. We're going to make a statement. Can you just do it outside? This is still a business. Listen, I will. I will. This is we going. We going. We going. Hold on. We going. Can y'all please step outside? We going. We going. I understand that. We going. We going, we going. Washington was arraigned in the Cleveland Municipal Courts. He is charged with murder and gross misconduct of a corpse. It was unclear whether he has retained legal representation or entered a plea for the charges. His bond was set at $2 million.